Hi everyone, my name is Leia, and someone has been sending me radioactive gifts from Chernobyl for the past year. At first, this all seemed to me some kind of game, but then it wasn't funny anymore. Soon, you will understand everything. A couple of years ago, for some reason, I had no brain. At first, I wanted to make a full nose tattoo. Then I climbed onto the roofs of skyscrapers to take cool selfies. Then I dived into the sea, and sometimes I did life-threatening things on a bed. Ah, yes, I also had one more thing. I raved about Chernobyl. I think all of this is not from a great mind, and I'm very glad that I grew out of all of this. Although, I must admit, the echoes of the past still haunt me. But let's stop at Chernobyl. I used to want to go there or even live there. I watched a bunch of films and programs about this place, and sometimes I went to the forums of stalkers to find out news and information firsthand. But at some point, I realized that Chernobyl is not a joke or entertainment, but a place that carries a real danger. Besides, many human lives have suffered there. When the nonsense was over, I started doing karate, beatboxing, and graffiti. My parents were finally able to relax and stopped flinching from phone calls because in the past they were called every now and then by the police and the principal. I also was glad that I was able to direct my energy in the right direction and that I spent my free time usefully. But one day my life seemed to take me back a few steps. It happened when I was exhausted coming back from karate training and I didn't care about anything at all. There was a courier service car at the door of the house, and I immediately realized that it was for us. Perhaps my mother again ordered some kind of cream or peels from Amazon, but after receiving the parcel, I saw my name on it, and it puzzled me, especially since the name of the sender was unknown to me, or rather there was not even a name, but some strange words. What a surprise! I even imagined for a second that inside there was a teddy bear with a heart from a boy I'd been in love with for a long time. Well, after all, whatever one may say, I am a romantic person. Then I very quickly opened the box. I was eager to find out what was inside, and ta-da! A piece of old rusty iron was inside. It's just a terrible shame to get this instead of a teddy bear, or at least even a postcard. Answer me one question, why? However, I expected to find out the answer to this question from the note that was attached to the package. When I opened it, I saw only two symbols, a radiation icon and a smiling emoji. Cool, but it's still not clear what it means. Maybe this is some kind of game and I need to collect all the pieces of iron to get a prize? Just in case, I didn't say anything to my parents and hid the received piece of metal under my bed. A few days later, I forgot about the package, but the courier's visit made me remember everything again. He handed me the same box as last time from the same sender. Hmm, intrigue. When I opened it, I found another piece of metal inside, similar to the previous one, as well as a note with the word Chernobyl. It turns out that this really is a game, and soon I would get some kind of object from these pieces of iron. I felt excitement and interest. I wanted to get a new package as soon as possible and collect the whole puzzle. By the way, I wonder what the main prize is and who is behind all of this. In total, within six months, I received 10 pieces of iron from Incognito, and I was already getting bored with this game. It took too long, especially since my parents will sooner or later find my metal reserves under my bed, and then I will have to explain it all to them somehow. And in general, everything began to annoy me terribly. Now, when I received the next package, I was no longer happy as before, but felt anger. Damn schemer, who are you? Show your face and tell me why you started all this. As if I have nothing better to do than collect your pile of junk under my bed. Due to stress, my hair began to fall out. Bruises appeared under my eyes, and in general, my appearance left much to be desired. When the delivery service courier brought another package, I simply refused to accept it. I was sick of it. 
That evening, I felt very bad. My mother, as usual, began to give me vitamins, from which I began to vomit, after which they called an ambulance and took me to the hospital. There were no ideas about my illness. But after a couple of days, the picture was extremely clear, and I was diagnosed with radiation sickness. This was a complete surprise to everyone except me. I immediately realized that the reason was in those pieces of metal that are under my bed and I told my parents about everything. It turned out that the radiation background in my room was increased hundreds of times and this is what caused the radiation sickness. Now the police had to find the joker who had started this whole stupid game. But this was even more difficult because I had no enemies or people jealous of me who needed to get back at me and why. This case turned out to be very confusing and difficult because my presenter turned out to be not a simple bully and carefully encrypted himself. 
Time after time, the threads were broken and the investigation could not move from the dead point. But my parents threw all their resources into catching the criminal, hiring the best detectives and trackers. As a result, a small lead soon appeared. The investigation managed to find my posts on the stalkers forum that I would like to receive souvenirs from Chernobyl and dreamt of visiting there. Yes, it was a long time ago and almost a lie because I have long forgotten about it, but a spoken word takes its flight. If you type it, it will not disappear. And my messages were answered even a year later when I had already forgotten about that forum. The attention of the police was attracted by one user under the nickname Trapezium, who wrote to me some comments almost every day for almost two years. It was so strange. because he never received any feedback. Is he naive or stupid? However, this was soon to be found out. Tripezius' identity became known within a day and he was immediately detained. It turned out to be Isaac Martin, a 30-year-old guy whose father was a liquidator in Chernobyl. So he suffered greatly throughout his short life and died at the age of 35. Isaac himself became a stalker and at some point decided to avenge his father's death and began to kill innocent people with radiation. I was his second victim. He saw my interest in Chernobyl and decided to start sending me radioactive gifts just as I had asked in one of the messages. Only now he did not have my address, but he solved this problem with the help of Google search. The fact is that on the forum of stalkers, I use the same nickname as on TikTok, so the question of my address was solved very easily when I responded to a message about a proposal to test some kind of shampoo. I never got it, by the way, because it was Isaac who sent it to me. Are you getting the connection? This guy had planned everything and started flooding me with his gifts, and I was a fool. And with each gift, the radiation background in my room was getting higher and higher, and you know the result. I ended up in a hospital bed with radiation sickness. I am very angry with Isaac and do not understand how he could start killing and maiming people. For what? Yes, I know that I once wrote that I wanted a souvenir from Chernobyl, but damn it, at that time I was a completely stupid teenager whose hormones were gushing over the edge and who could not sensibly evaluate some things. Isaac is still under investigation. He has practically lost his health due to constant contact with radiation, so there is a possibility that he will not live to see his trial. Would you like to visit Chernobyl or get a souvenir from there? Share your answers in the comments. Click on the thumbs up button under this video and be sure to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss the release of new stories.